ribbon is cut on a $315 million renovation of the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. It's the newest chapter in the stadium's long history book. And we shall prevail. It's hosted the biggest events in politics. I declare open the Olympic Games of Los Angeles. And events bigger than politics. It's hosted rock gods. And the man many see as God's representative on earth. Touchdown Rams. It's also been the home field for virtually every single LA sports team. It's going to be another USC touchdown and another thing of beauty. Kevin Daly runs events here. We always say this is where history is made. Yeah. It, it happened here. The Coliseum was built in the 1920s as a memorial to veterans of World War I. In 1923, USC defeated Pomona in the first ever college football game here. In 1932, 39 countries made their way to LA for the opening ceremonies of the Olympic Games. I proclaim open. The Olympic Games of Los Angeles. In 1984, the Olympic flame would burn once again as the Games returned. A very young Eric Garcetti was there. It's like a pinch me feeling. I couldn't believe it as a 13 year old kid that I was even here. Los Angeles, 28. As LA Mayor, Garcetti won the bid to bring back the Olympics in 2028, with the opening ceremony starting once again in the Coliseum. After I'm mayor, to be able to bring my daughter back when she's going to be 16 or 17 during those games, it'll just be the most phenomenal feeling of my life. In 1935, the Coliseum hosted its first president when FDR mourned Will Rogers. Will Rogers' kindly humor saw facts and laughed at fantasy. In 1960, John F. Kennedy made history here. Could I accept the nomination of the Democratic Party? His speech at the Democratic Convention through the biggest crowd of any convention speech ever. A 16-year-old Bob Schrum was among the crowd. That's where Kennedy first uttered the phrase New Frontier. There was a sense of change and promise in the air. Years later, Schrum would be Ted Kennedy's top speechwriter and help run several presidential campaigns. Through it all, never forgetting 1960. I mean, did that campaign, that experience, really kind of inspire the rest of your life? You yes. Think? Yes, inspired not just me, but a whole generation of people. Many also inspired by Martin Luther King Jr.'s Coliseum speech in 1964 and Nelson Mandela's address here in 1990. The universal struggle against racism, sexism, and all forms of oppression. In 1963, the Reverend Billy Graham's crusade drew the biggest crowd in stadium history. We are sheep among wolves. 134,000 people packed inside, 20,000 more outside. In 1987, KTTV's cameras were rolling as Pope John Paul II blessed Angelinos. He asked this through Christ our Lord. In 1985, our cameras caught a very different kind of show when Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band sold out the stadium four nights in a row. In fact, the boss has played here more than anyone. And scores! But the Coliseum is perhaps best known for sports. It hosted the first ever Super Bowl in 1967. In 1959, the Dodgers won the World Series here, thanks in large part to then LA County Supervisor Kenneth Hahn. This is my dad's plaque, the original Supervisor Hahn. His daughter Janice is currently an LA County Supervisor. She says in the 50s her father convinced the Dodgers to play here. They didn't have any place to play, and my dad uh, took the baseball coach to Pepperdine, and they went right down there and measured the field and found out that baseball could be played here in the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. The Rams played football here from 1946 to 1979 and 2016 to now. Vince Evans, the quarterback. The Raiders from 1982 to 1994, the Chargers for one season in 1960, and UCLA football called this home from 1933 to 1981. Touchdown! But USC football has been the one constant here since the beginning. Clay Helton is the team's head coach. When you walk down, the hair on the back of your neck stands up because you understand how much history is involved here. The past several years, USC has spearheaded a massive modernization effort here. The stadium, now game ready. Every single seat in the entire stadium have been replaced. They've made them a little bit bigger. Uh, they've also added cup holders for you to hold your drink. They've added Wi-Fi throughout the stadium to make it easier to use your phone. And they've also added guardrails to make it easier to walk. The biggest change, fewer seats and added luxury boxes. The 
There are also new food options and a rooftop lounge with a spectacular view of the Coliseum's future. 96 year history here at the Coliseum and now you know, we're posed for another century of just amazing events. It is amazing. USC's first football game in the new Coliseum is Saturday at 7.30 against Fresno State. Wow. So what's your favorite highlight of the Coliseum, your experience? I don't know. You know, honestly, it wasn't even in that story, but the Special Olympics, I went to the opening oh, ceremony there okay. and seeing the, the people from around the world come in and see right. their faces was really incredible. Okay. And, of course, USC winning football games. Of but. course. Of course. <laughs> says, says the alum. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Fight on. Very cool. Great, Fight on. Great